Always the right time to make some money. Who better to bring in than our very own Emery Hunt? Emery, I'm feeling the lapel flower you got. I would have rocked mine today had I known you were throwing yours on. <laughs> well, listen, man, it, it's, they, they call it red and pink, but I call it vermilion and white, especially coming off the beat down from Marshall. So that's all it is. <laughs> OK, I got you. We'll, we'll get in the same wavelength a little bit later on as we get going to it. We don't got to wait until Saturday for college football. Two games on the schedule for today. SMU lane 12 and a half against Navy tonight. What's your pick? You know, it's going to be hard for SMU to come in and want to play great defense when it's when it's tough for them to stop a run. And that's all you're going to see against Navy. Navy has tied enough the last couple of weeks, and I like the fact that they're playing their best ball at this juncture of the season. So I'm taking Navy and the 12 and a half points. You have to really be disciplined consistently throughout the four quarters of a football game when facing the option attack. And I don't think SMU defensively, especially coming off of two games where they struggle to stop the run, can do that against the midshipmen. UTSA, they are at Florida International. The over-under set at 63. FIU are 33 and a half point dogs. What's your pick? Here, here's the thing. When you look at FIU, they struggle offensively. In their last conference game, uh, Western Kentucky beat them 73 to nothing. So it's possible that UTSA can cover this by themselves or go over this number by themselves. But I'm a little bit more reluctant. I feel like UTSA's defense uh, tends to give a little bit. So I will go under 63. They may end up beating, you know, this, this, this ball club. Ball club, 62 nothing. You know, FIU really struggles offensively, but I just can't see this number going over. I feel like UTSA would do enough to get the win because they have North Texas next week in the battle for first place in Conference USA. It's been a tough season so far for FIU. Our last one in the college ranks, Princeton and Brown. What are you looking at there? You know, I know Princeton is an Ivy League school, smart program, smart football. Here's some smart numbers. They're only giving up nine points a game. 1.9 yards of carry, 5.5 yards of completion. They're yamming guys up defensively like Kojak out there in the mean streets of New York City with the collar popped up. So I don't see Brown's offense having any success against Princeton's defense. Steve Verbit has been there for 37 years. He's one of the best coaches, defensive coaches in college football. They'll make light work of Brown tonight uh, out there on the banks of the Raritan in Princeton, New Jersey. So look for the, the Tigers to lay these 20 and a half points against Brown. The really smart folks with our own smart guy, Emory Hunt, getting us some more money. One final game, CFL love Montreal and Ottawa. Montreal three and a half point favorites. What do you say? I say take Ottawa in the points. They recently fired Paul LaPolice there, their head coach, and he was a great defensive coach, and they were losing games six to nine, 19 to 10. That's unheard of in the CFL to score 10 points with the offense. It, the, the rules are heavily slated for the offense. And so when they bring in Bob Dice, he's improved the offensive attack. They got to win last weekend. And that alone, compared with their great defense, yields me to say, hey, they'll take care of business tonight. Take the three and a half points uh, along with Ottawa. I think they take care of business because, again, all they needed was some semblance of an offense. They got it last week. They'll get it again this week as they get ready to close out their season. That's Emory. It, uh, Emory, uh, did you drop Vermillion in the morning on a Friday? Did I just hear that? Is that, is that what I heard? Yeah, listen, I am well-versed. We talk Ivy League football. I introduce you guys to new colors. I'm all well-versed in everything over here, man. You guys just learned Vermilion. I heard you over there Googling what is Vermilion, and then, boom, my picture popped up along with that Raging Cajuns football helmet. Z Zach, you, you can echo this, too, but I think a great philosopher, Alcaz, said, roses really smell like boo-boo. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying there. Okay. All right, with the prom <laughs> suit. Just let me know when, when you need the corsage for your date, you know. Just want to know. <laughs> I'm here to help. I'm here to help oh, every Friday for you. <laughs> I increase the value of the show based off the wardrobe. Mm. You know how many people we get now watching the show because of the wardrobe? Mm. Talk you got to take talk. notes, man. Yeah, yeah. Telly uh, loses his, uh, his connection next Friday. <laughs> 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 every, as always, got something to say. Always got something to say. Air Force at UNLV on CBS Sports Network. That is on Saturday, which is tomorrow at 1030. Take a look at uh, you know our finest in the military out on the football field right around here. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.